How's it going, everybody? This is Antonio Sanchez. And Gianna May. And uh, we're Reboot Gamers. Specifically, we're going to play, we're going to do another edition of Reboot Regrets. And today... We're playing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PlayStation 2. Huh. <laughs> I like how there's an American flag for the title screen, considering you know, Harry Potter is set in England. So, that's kind of weird. <laughs> America. Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, originally. Harry Potter and the American flag. Yes. Uh, for the PlayStation 2. Um, I have never played this version of the game. I played the original PlayStation version, which is awful. Um, we were having difficulty trying to record it. Sky that night to but, um, that strange and mysterious things yeah, so we're going to stick with this PS2 version um, as we watch this awesome open. I know, it's really cool because the narrator for this is actually the same one who narrates the stories on Pottermore, which I really appreciate. Um, for those who aren't aware, I'm an extremely huge Harry Potter fan. My family owns all of the Harry Potter games. <laughs> oh my gosh, that beard. Um, and I own several Harry Potter paraphernalia. And so I love Harry Potter. But I got him out all right. But yeah. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Aw, oh, man. The boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, really and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I tweeted out there's actually an exposition before Wizarding. you kind of get launched into it. And he has green eyes. This game doesn't look half bad for a PS2 game. Also, again, I'm kind of banking on nostalgia here, so I still think it's amazing. I just hope it lives up to my hype. 2003, that was 12 years ago. Shh. Oh my gosh, that was 12 years ago. <laughs> we were 10. Oh my goodness. We wouldn't have been, been able to receive our Hogwarts letter yet. Really? Yep. We have to be 11, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Harry Potter. I do remember I was like the kids, who, one of the kids who would wait until the. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! We Professor skipped Quirrell. a lot. Oh my gosh! Oh, Professor Quirrell will be they're one already of the teachers at... at Hogwarts. Oh, they're at the uh, Leaky Cauldron. We skipped like thirty minutes of like suffering and agony for poor <laughs> Harry Potter. We missed going to the zoo and setting a snake on to Dudley. The d d defense of the d d d d d dark art. It's like Pokey Pig. That's all, folks. You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. P -p -p Propose. I've got to pick up a million <laughs> vampires myself. Must get on. Lots to buy. Come on, Harry. He sounds a bit like Hagrid. I think, yeah, the voice acting isn't bad. I mean, I imagine they kind of have to. Be up to a cross. Right. I think some of this is actually part of the original dialogue featured in the books, too, so that oh, definitely movie. helps. Well, the movie as well, too. <clears throat> Those bricks! Welcome oh my to gosh. Diagon Alley! Okay. So Antonio's gonna start off playing... I, oh, wait, oh, yeah. okay. And I still haven't got your birthday present. Wow, we didn't get to see Diagon Alley! Well, I mean, this is Hello? Diagon Alley, Good though. Afternoon. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, man. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only <laughs> yesterday <laughs> she was here herself. Not really. Not Everybody says that. Not just the way he said it. You have your long. mother's Swishy. eyes. Made of willow. Wizards. Nice one for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany. See, that's actually the dialogue well, from, the, uh, from the book. From the book. It's really the one that So is this a reboot regret? I think you're way too excited for this reboot regret. <laughs> well, maybe it will grow to regret. I don't know. Uh, this might be more reboot nostalgia for me. I'm sure it might be more reboot regrets for you. Because remember, you said you, like, you said you didn't really like it. I hated it, but I think that... I don't remember this at all in the first PlayStation game. I think it just started right at a Hogwarts. Like, it was really weird. And it was real, real bad. Well, maybe because I think this is one of those cutscenes at the beginning. You know? So, I think we still have to press, like, start or something. Oh no, oh, we're hey. playing now. There we go. Okay, well, I guess never mind. So this is legitimately the open. Okay, let your wand choose... Choose you. You. 
All Avengers. Yep. Cool. Good luck. I have my wand chosen on Pottermore, so uh, pretty excited about yeah. that. Oh my, wow. Look at that animation. <laughs> it's so jumpy. <laughs> it looks so jerky. Oh my uh, gosh, the lighting. Why is it so chuggy? It's really bad. I mean, it, granted this kind of falls into an interesting genre of video game, like the made for originally from a movie made into a video game games which tend to be bad. Is that his wand? No. How do you not know his wand? Stand over there. Just, on I, that I, I know it's a wand. How but his wand is integral to the plot. Isn't like a phoenix feather? Yes. Do you know whose phoenix feather it is? His mom's? His mom's phoenix feather. Maybe she had a phoenix. I want a divorce. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't click that. You're supposed to go up onto the podium and use your wand. Oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> triangle. <Oof. laughs> My goodness. Definitely not. Uh, didn't you read the fourth book? I mean, there's. I, I read all the books. Like It was an years integral ago. plot to the fourth book. You know, the whole bound to your brother wand. Voldemort. Oh, I just grabbed the same one. Nice. Good job. I'm so sorry. Nice and easy. Yeah, amateur here. Okay, so I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. How do I get rid of it? Beechwood and dragon. You have to use it. Nine I assume. Nice and okay, then I don't know. Oh, you, you haven't picked up a wand. Holly and Phoenix. There you go. Is that it? I'm pretty sure it's Holly and Phoenix Feather. See, it's just a whole sparkly thing and it's your wand. This is it. So I feel like this is Antonio's reboot regrets. This is the moment that Harry Potter was like, yo, I'm a wizard. Not any time <clears> before, <throat> you know, when Hagrid was like, you're a wizard, Harry. We missed that moment in the game. I know, how do we miss that moment? Curious. Very curious. I know, like, all the words to the first movie, too. Sorry, but, but what's, what's curious? curious? <laughs> <I remember laughs> this is the moment everybody's gonna stop listening because we're Mr. Potter. talking and trying to quote everybody. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave, gave another, another feather. Just, just one. one. <laughs> it is very curious <laughs> Really? <indeed. laughs> You should be destined for this one. When its when brother it's gave you that scar. It was a dramatic pause, if there ever was one. Well, even in the movie, it's a dramatic pause. I'm so, I don't. I didn't memorize the movie. Well, then obviously you're not a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> the wand chooses the wizard. <laughs> oh gosh. I think. We must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. Terrible. After all, he who but must yes. be named great. did great things. Terrible. Ridiculous. Yes. But <laughs> great. There has been a whole lot of dialogue. No, yeah, for a video game, it's very dialogue heavy, which is interesting. So, I mean, as a game mechanic, I can understand like why people would be like, ugh, this sucks. Because, I mean, you're not really allowed to do much yet? I mean, you gotta choose your wand, and now, now this is the first, like, actual level where you do stuff. Over here, and I mean, a lot of these are puzzle-based, too. Gain the Filipendo spellbook. Spell cool. But yeah. So I just, what are you <laughs> doing, man? This is so rough. Harry can move along now. Push, blah, 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 blah. Really? Oh, yes, I remember collecting these beans. They were the, awesome. The spinach flavor. Mm, spinach curry. flavor. I like that British accent. 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 <laughs> to jump over gaps. Yeah, I, I remember the mechanics were kind of weird. So, I mean, granted, I think my I, there isn't going to be... S that was remarkably mm, easy. Coconut. 
Yuck! Grass flavor! <laughs> Yuck! Grass flavor! Then why'd you eat it again if you recognize well, it? Well, you, you, you collect them to sell at Fred and George's shops, Close. which doesn't entirely oh. make sense because Fred and George Sprouts. doesn't have a shop yet, but it's whatever. Fish. Spinach flavor? Mmm, curry. <laughs> Only a British person would be like, mmm, curry. Oh, I need to. Oh, revolting! Vomit flavor! I actually ate a vomit flavored one once, it was pretty gross. Do they still sell those? Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. They ha well, they have them in we Harry Potter World and they sell them at other places. He's getting really bad ones. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Get it together. <laughs> You can drop. I'm sure there's things below you. Yeah. Uh, earwax. Earwax. Mm, peppermint. Mm, peppermint. <laughs> mm, coconut. It is kind of where they keep on saying Vulsing. what the flavor is. So like it's Yuck. kind of awesome the first Lost few times, flavor. but now it's like just get on with it. Come on, dude. We get it, birdie bots. Fishy sardine flavor. Okay, did he like that? I don't know. <laughs> Fishy sardine flavor. Yeah, I think he liked it. I think uh, Harry Ugh. Potter likes sardines. Right. I don't know. Get the book, yo. Book, book. Why didn't you just pick? It's literally right in front of this guy. Because video games, Antonio. Magic. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn to know powerful <laughs> Those eyebrows. You'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. Flippendo. Okay. I remember that when the other Harry Potter ones came out, it was like the coolest thing, like when the Wii came out with these Harry Potter ones, to actually do the motions. Like, I was super excited for that. Okay, Flipendo is square for me. Yeah. If you'd kindly follow me. Would you kindly? That's a whole different game. <laughs> or is it? No, it's a different it's game. It's a different game. Michael right now would be freaking out. <laughs> um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, Reboot Regrets? Reboot Plays? We don't know yet. I think it's Reboot Regrets for Antonio. It's for me just I love Harry Potter. So. I kind of like it because I like Harry Potter, but like... As a game, it's pretty look sucky. At, look, at, look at that. Like graphics and also just the fact that like we've been playing for like 10 minutes and this is the only amount of gameplay we've actually gotten. Lependo! Oh hey, you can actually cast things. Lependo! <laughs> Flipendo. I don't know what that voice was, but... So it's still Reboot Regrets. Uh, it, it's more like Reboot Reflects on their regrets and something. And respects... Harry Potter. Yeah. Because Harry Potter is amazing, and it's just the best thing ever. So on that note, we will uh, see you again next time. Yep, later. Bye.